Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn how to create a soft washout. Now, in automotive surfacing, uh, you'll see a lot of soft washouts. Um, and for example, this is a BMW M3, and you'll see a soft washout on the hood. And this is also a Lamborghini Gallardo, and you'll see one right over here. So, uh, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of take an example from the M3 and try to create this the same transition over here, where, a, where the hood goes down and there's a nice soft washout of the feature line over here. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I do need to create a trimmed surface. So I'm just going to take a curve over here like this. And I'll just, well, it looks like it's opening up as it goes towards the rear side. So I'm just going to create something like this over here. And I'm just going to project from the top. And I'm just going to trim. And this is going to be the base of surface over here. And what I'm going to do next is just copy and paste this. And I'm going to say untrim. And I'm just going to push it down. So I'm just going to duplicate this edge over here and I'm just going to push it down like this. And you can use rail, um, but uh, since I already have the surface, I'm just going to use a line and I'm just going to grab a uh, position over here. I'm going to grab the surface over here like this and align it like that. And now depending on the situation, you might want to do a blend. Um, you can do an extra zeros of three or, or one, I should say. And this is going to create a little bit more um, consistent transition. Now there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. So let me just go over those. So in order to create this side surface over here like this, I'm just going to take a curve like that and I'm just going to do a rail like this. And that's going to create a nice washout like this. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. Now, if I were to just not do the blending, then it's going to, you'll see that this uh, washout is a little bit softer as it goes towards the rear. However, uh, you gotta realize, oh, actually right now, this is actually tangent to this line. If I were to do a blending, however, it is going to be positioned, but it's going to create a little bit more consistent sidewall over here. Now, if you wanted to make a curvature, however, there is a something else that you need to do. If I were to make this a uh, curvature, then you might want to just take all of these uh, three surfaces like this, and I'm just going to do it above. And what you want to do is I'm just going to trim, uh, get rid of that, and I'm just going to untrim, oh, actually, I should leave that trimmed like this. And I'm just going to copy and paste and I'm just going to untrim the surface over here. And what you want to do is you want to create another a sliver of surface over here to match too. So I'm just going to use an insert like this so that it's a nice uh, washout over here. And I'm just going to, well, let's go ahead and trim this one like that. And I'm just going to copy and paste over here. I'm going to say untrim. And I'm just going to take the surface and extend it like that. Now, because I want it to be curvature, uh, you probably want to increase the degree to three like this. And what you want to do is do the same thing that I did on the bottom. I'm just going to push this down like this. And I'm just going to align over here. And it's just going to be position. And you'll see that it's even more subtle than before. Actually, I should probably push this down a little bit more to match the bottom. And you can just do something like this. Now, what's critical is that you have a sliver of surface over here. Um, looks like there's a COS over here. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, really depends on what you want to do and how subtle you want to make it. So these are the different variations. However, for the final one, I'm just going to concentrate on one. So I think for this one, uh, I'm just going to make it just tangent like this uh, to create a nice washout like that. So let's go ahead and clean this up. So right now, this surface over here has a couple of spans. So I'm going to try to get rid of it. So I'm going to just query it, uh, query edit history. And let's do a rebuild. Okay, so it looks like it still has a couple of spans. So I'm going to say explicit control on. Uh, gen can be degree two. And this looks like degree four works. Now, it doesn't have to be like perfectly positional because eventually there's going to be a fillet anyways. But, well, let's uh, let's put something in. 
Okay, so looking at least at this part, it looks like the inner fillet is a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger than the top, uh, just for convenience. And before I proceed though, let's go ahead and delete the construction history over here, and let's get rid of the curve over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a curve like this. Let's just project it from the top so that I'm only working with half. Not that it really matters, um, but let's just go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to grab a surface fillet over here. And I'm going to say core, it's going to be G2. And for the quarter, le uh, quarter length, I'm going to, well, since it's pretty small, maybe I'll just go, uh, well, I think 10. Okay, form factor, I'm going to just grab one. And now it's just a matter of doing a, a essentially a Y fillet. So I'm just going to say, well, I know it's set to auto. Um, well, it looks like that's edge align. Looks like that's default, which looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So instead of 10, maybe I'll make it 15 and I'll, do, I'll probably just do 10 on this side. Okay, so now uh, I'm just going to just grab the COS over here like that, and I'm just going to extend it, and let's grab a square over here. I'm just going to say one, two, three, and four, like that. Okay, and let's go ahead and do an explicit control because if there are multiple spans, I'm going to say five and five. Uh, number two side is going to be curvature. Okay, and number one side is going to be curvature, but as you can see, the, the CVs are trying to, uh, well, doing something a little bit funny. And uh, here's a problem. If I just leave it like this, there are a couple of CVs that just are playing by itself, um, basically free floating. And these are the CVs over here. So uh, since this surface is uh, simple enough, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the degree on this one to three so that all the CVs are somewhat, well, of course, uh, I think that one probably needs, oh, actually, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see if I can just do a little bit of cleanup on this. Sure, you know what, I'm going to do this. Because of the CV structure like this, um, I think I'm gonna to try to make it a little bit better. I'm just going to do a free from blend over here like this, and I'm going to say one side is going to be curvature, side two is going to be position. And of course it's a little bit long, so I'm just going to reduce it a little bit. So let's see, modify range. I'm going to say connect ends. Just gonna snap it over here and let's see if I can just snap this one over here. Okay, so it's pretty close. Um, it doesn't have to be super exact. But with this one, what I get is a nice transition, at least at the back. And now what I need to do is just make sure that this one is curvature. Okay, so now I'm just going to change this. Uh, well, first of all, let's do explicit control. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to explicit control. And now this ha actually has to have a nice transition. So let's make this into a degree five like this. I'm going to, well, okay. So construction history is deleted. And at least at the rear, the transition is really nice. It's just washing out nicely. So let's try to blend this one in. So I'm just going to grab a line and I'm going to try to get to curvature, but it might be a little bit difficult. So let's see. Okay, so right now I have curvature. I'm going, right now it's a failing position. So you want to you want to increase the position influence to one. So at least that got, got curvature, but the problem is right now, if you just put it like this, it's going to be floating over here which is not good. So I'm just going to say vector over here and I'm probably going to set it to normal like this. And you'll see that the CV structure is not exactly great. So probably I would say curvature might be a little bit difficult. So I'm just going to try to balance this out. So let's see if I can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift the CVs around a little bit. Let's see if I can get the one in the rear to settle down a little bit. So sometimes just shifting the CVs over here has a impact on the rear position. And I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And it's still retained the curvature. CV structure over here in the back is looking pretty good. So I would say that's, that's not bad. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and delete the construction history over here. And just for ease of walling, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. 
So let's grab surface fillet again. And now I'm going to just grab 10 over here. I'm going to grab these three and this one. I'm just going to run the fillet. And there it is. Okay, so auto, I think. Uh, I'm just going to, just in case, I'm just going to set it to edge align. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, edge align, like this. And I think that's on. Okay, so, well, all the fillets are single span, uh, so that's looking pretty good. So let's just duplicate it. Well, let's do a symmetry, turn their symmetry on and take a look. And there it is. That's a very nice washout, and it's a very subtle and soft transition, uh, transitioning into the rear. And that's how you make it. There it is. Okay, and that's how to create a soft washout. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.